my name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Slay the Spire for the daily challenge for the February 23rd, 2020. Character is the defect. The modifiers are All-Star, Hoarder, and Deadly Events. All-Star, start each, uh, start with, rather, five colorless cards. Hoarder, whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck of the merchant. And Deadly Events, question mark rooms are more likely to contain elites, but also more likely to contain treasure rooms. Let's see what we get for our colorless. Yikes, that sucks. Because we get three copies of each of those. This is going to be real bad. Um, we could use those enlightenments like anytime we find a meteor strike or a sunder. Those enlightenments, very, very good for that. Trip's also really good for that. Secret weapon also gets those out in the right hand. Jack of all trades is just you know, random. Uh, transmutation, similarly random. Okay. I'm going to go for a lot of early question marks here. Jackal try. Ooh, Dark Jackals. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to transmute to see if I can actually find anything that will help defend me. That's a no on the anything that will help me defend front. Ooh, Apotheosis and Hand of Greed. Love it. Hand of Greed is 30, so we'll actually get the kill. Uh, quite noise, defragment, and leap. I'm, I think I just need to pad up my defense at the moment. Take three leaps. Relic. Relic. Ooh, got the relic. It's boot. Whenever you deal five or less unblocked attack damage, you increase it to... Sorry, four or less, increase it to five. Archibeko, the first attack, each combat deals eight additional damage. Three copies of Genetic Algorithm this early? That's a ridiculous amount of defense for us. Remove a card from the deck. I feel like it's probably a transmutation. Transmutation's also how I actually win fights at the moment, though. I'm going to take out a natural defend, given all of the other removals I've already made. Oh, yikes. This is going to be a really rough fight. We need a great transmutation here. That's not going to do it. Metamorphosis is shuffle three random attacks into your draw pile. They cost zero this combat. Okay. I'm going to secret weapon out the doom and gloom. Start that charging. Wait, no, we want that light. Cool. 15 damage. No, 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 because it's, it's damage for each lightning. Damn it. Sorry. I thought for some reason that it was... Uh, for some reason, I thought this was zero damage for like six or something like that because I didn't stack lightning yet. I don't know how I completely messed that one up. But I did. Oops. I'm going to dual cast genetic algorithm, trip, and strike. Because basically going all in and getting two strikes in this hand is going to be the only way that we get this done. Ugh. Secret weapon can pull out a strike. Uh, it's way too late. Secret weapon pulls out a strike. Use strike. Genetic Algorithm Transmutation. Transmutation gets Dark Shackles. And that kills. Lovely. Uh, I also had the Explosive Potion just in case. Dark Stone Periapt. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase the max HP by 6. As well as go for the eyes. Ball of Lightning. I'm going to take the leap and get my Collector's Bonus right now. I'm going to start upgrading these transmutations because I need something to help me. It might have to be them. Okay, you had good instinct. Okay, let's secret technique out of transmutation. I'll think ahead to put that transmutation back atop the deck. 
And then I'll forethought to put good cards back on the bottom. So that gives me another turn to just go transmutation here. Chrysalis, shuffle three skills into your draw pile. They cost zero this combat. Neat. Opening up with the Hand of Greed is pretty good. Secret Weapon would pull out nothing at this point. Okay. I was really hoping for another leap right there. Secret technique. It's definitely genetic algorithm. Secret technique out. Another genetic algorithm. And then leap. If I'm not going to be full defending anyway, I might as well be incrementing those algorithms. Alright. Let's go for the draw. And Secret Weapon would pull out stuff anyway. Uh, Mango, raise your max HP by 14, as well as Chill. I'm going to take three copies of Chill. I have a lot of zero costs in the deck. I think I actually take Scrape. Happy Flower. Every three turns gain an energy. Fine. Okay, let's trip you. That many times. And scrape. So now my only goal is playing as many genetic algorithms as I can. Fine. Scrape versus aggregate? I think we take scrape again, get the collector's bonus on that. I'm also going to go for that question mark. Perfect. I probably should have stalled out that fight again. In fact, I definitely should have stalled out that fight. Hey, yikes. Fine, I'll take a little bit more damage here just because I'm not guaranteed to get the lead in the next phase. Cold snaps. None of this deck is going in the way that I wanted it to, unfortunately. Secret technique to pull out a secret weapon, and then secret weapon to pull out aggression. Or do I... No, I'm going to go transmutation. So the enemy dies in just a couple turns to the, the bomb now. Oh, wait, the bomb is targeted on me. Never mind, it's totally fine. It's still fine. Looking to try and get genetic algorithm. Secret weapon to pull that out then. Great, so we got genetic algorithm, one of them out. Fine. Once I cast Bullseye, Hologram, we'll take the Hologram there. I really need some Mind Blast to actually make this deck a thing because it's not really gotten, oh, I want to say, anything so far. It's just not doing well. More genetic algorithms that I'm not going to be able to play and ever upgrade. But it is a collector's bonus at the absolute least. Uh, let's get another transmutation. Alright, mayhem then. Ah, I could have enlightened it. Yeah, I should have enlightened mayhem. It's okay. 
Mayhem got me a full transmutation there. Neat. Very good, Mayhem. Very good. Very well done. Trip. Finesse. I'll put you on the ground and I'm going to upgrade both of those genetic algorithms. I'll purity out the fourth order as well. Just remove those from the deck. Oh, cool. We've already taken damage in this fight. Thank you. Uh, now I don't have to worry about trying to stay perfect. It's just never going to happen. Mayhem did it to me. Just got to put it in my hands. Hmm. Take the pre-upgraded uh, transmutation here. Definitely shouldn't panic button this turn. Cannot block for the next two turns. Eh. No, I definitely shouldn't. Let's think ahead and pop that back on the bottom. See, I want to try and throw out just like a giant transmutation here, but I just... Fine, I'm doing it. Ugh, yikes. Really needed to have some better effects than that in there. Okay, what can I do now? Let's finesse. Let's deep breath, get everything in the draw pile, just in case there's something better there for me. I could finesse again? Hmm. So I've got four block. That's like, I'm actually already fully defended. Yeah, if I'm fully defended, what I do is I just take out a chill, I think. Well, not fully defended. I'm defended against dying, I mean. So we get the hand agreed to put you on the grounds. Yeah, this whole deck is uh, going to be complete garbage, basically, right up until I... It's going to be complete garbage, basically, right up until I find a... What's it called? One sec. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's think ahead first. It's going to be complete garbage right up until I find Mind Blast. To be fair, like, a lot of hoarders are like that. Echo form, Seek. Seek just finds the right card in the deck at the right time. Uh, uh transform all strike into Ven cards? Sure. And then they'll all give me triplicate of the new cards. So I get three claws, three reinforced bodies, three boot sequences. That's actually quite good. Electrodynamics, reprogram. Neat. Neat! There's a path with three elites, two shops, and a couple question marks. Happy to see it. Secret weapon out of scrape here, I think. I love just being able to fish for electrodynamics. Having seek and electrodynamics in the deck is actually really, really helpful. Really extremely helpful. Lose focus? No. Sweet. And that'll have everyone dead next turn. Basically, I'm just looking for genetic algorithms at this point. In fact, a hologram will bring one back. Chill? Ooh, yes, please. My opening hand is now three chills and three steam barriers or whatever they're called. Boot sequences. There we go. So I get very, very well defended on turn one. But now this means anything that I pick up that has innate on it uh, is going to increase the size of my main hand. Hmm. 
Eh, yeah, fine. I'm going to get an upgraded transmutation here. So recurse. Another hand of greed. Eh, not really that much to do this turn. I need ways to generate energy, so I need my aggregates now. I turned down one earlier, but it's definitely time for them. That turn was obvious. Let's try and upgrade the cards that haven't yet been upgraded. Uh, purity is... The secret weapon out of scrape. And another one. Probably uh, another one. I was really hoping I was going to get a claw somewhere along there. Fine. It's the best I can do is the best I can do. Let's hollow back a hand of greed. Actually get some money for it as well. It's uh, Sunder. With the enlightenments in the deck especially. Plus I just do need damage for the enemies. Yeah, we'll take 15 copies of Apparition, sure. Should now basically be impossible to hit us, if only we'd perfected the first boss. The problem is, it might be impossible to hit us, but it's also kind of impossible for us to do damage at the moment. Seeker pre-upgraded. I still haven't even done my first hit. Like, the vigor is still on me. Uh, let's recycle a reinforced body, get a bunch of energy back. All right, a scrape. I was really hoping to get some card draw base over that. Like a secret weapon or a secret technique or something similar. Remember when I said no one should be able to hit me? Yeah, it was supposed to include this enemy, I know. It's weird. Let's go electrodynamics. Hologram back a leap. Both of those recycle. That was all mismanaged. I guess if nothing else, I am getting the genetic algorithms off. Overclock, add a burn into your discard pile. I don't care about that. I never visit my discard pile. A copy of calipers, a copy rather, uh, the relic calipers would be incredible for us here. Just because on first turn we generate so much defense, we'd have access consistently. Ooh, that's a good enlightenment right there. Still not enough to fully actually defend us on that turn. Oh, yikes. I think this is another case of a deck that tried to be too many things and now it's nothing. Can't play through 92 cards every single fight. It'll take forever. Right. Very committed, apparently, to either getting the kill this turn or an apparition. Now yeah, there's the apparition. Cool. 
attack. Hell of a lot of defense for us. These opening turns are starting to get old, but still, it does look like I... I didn't need all of my defense in this. It was basically double the amount of defense that I actually required. That will keep a... That'll keep a perfect bonus for this fight for me so far. As well as free up a slot for a different potion. Mm -hmm. Come on, just give me more apparitions or electrodynamics, please. Seek out Electra. Ten's not going to be enough. Apparition's not enough by itself. Fine. That'll at least confirm the collector's bonus there. Uh, chill. I already have collector's bonus on chill, I think. No, I don't. No, wait, I do. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, reinforced body, I don't. And cold snap, I don't. Take cold snap. Start each combat with three additional warp slots is really powerful. Boot sequence, hilarious. Um, I mean, another boot sequence is a collector's bonus for us. It's just we don't need that much defense on turn one. I also really want the fossilized Helix, but honestly, like, ruining capacitor is ridiculous. You can't turn it down. Let's take the Capacitor, let's take Preserved Insect. I kind of want to take three copies of uh, Doom and Gloom as well. But I'm going to go Discovery instead, I think. Oh, I shouldn't spend all my money there. We actually have more spaces to spend money in. Dang it. Absolutely loving the amount of defense that we can get here. Hmm. This is a lot of energy to get back. I don't really have anything to do with it. Hopefully I get a bunch of my overclocks in this hand. Well, one overclock at least. That could have been a second, but actually it still can be. Although, hang on, how do I want to do this? We have way, way too many available options here. Fine, I'm gonna take a Sunder out of the deck. I'm gonna recycle that Sunder. And then Giant Transmutation. Let's get a bunch of random skills of zero cost into the deck. And it does not actually seem to have been changing anything about our draws. Oh, Fission, neat. Fission is a great pickup there. Uh, Sunder, secret weapon. Fine. Cold snap, jack of all trades, fine. Trip, neat. Sunder, and then I can secret weapon out another Sunder. I don't have another Sunder. All right, another awful one, I guess. Awful one, bring back some zero costs. Say go for the eyes just because it's zero cost synergizes with these scrapes that I have in the deck so far. Don't you dare have mind blast. You didn't. Good. That's more scrapes though. I'll take more claws. Collector's bonus still. Honestly, I think like one of the biggest things I can do now is upgrade these Seeks so that I get two cards at the same time. Hmm. 
Good go for the eyes. Jack of all trades gets, gets Jack of all trades. It's fine. We still get full defense for that turn, so don't really mind. Come on, where are all these pre-upgraded seeks I was promised? I know there's only one out of 107 cards in my deck, but I was promised it, dang it. Uh, fine. Just force some damage out on the field. Single Sunder is now enough to do it. Game. That's a Seek. And Seek is actually Sunder. Strike Dummy as well as Beam Cell, Turbo, Capacitor. I don't think we need the extra energy, but... Fine. I do want the Collector's Bonus there. Ooh, yes! Finally, our first curse. Toy Ornithopter as well as three copies of Shame. Uh, those three curses, by the way, all increased my max HP. So we got 18 plus max HP out of that. We want as many curses as possible. Unfortunately, the enemies are going to attack next turn because I didn't take out any of the chumps there. So very hopeful that I get good defense. I'm a secret weapon out of Sunder. Sunder kills you, gives me the ability to scrape to kill you. That. That's only five, so dual cast and leap. Best defense I can give myself, and it's just enough. Ooh, seek. What is the best I can do for setting myself up for a later turn? It might just be like Electrodynamics, Electrodynamics. Fine. I'm not super enthused about that. If we get all the Seeks upgraded, when we get one, we can always use one of those Seek triggers to draw the other Seeks out of my hand. Sorry, uh, out of my draw pile. Uh, so effectively, one Seek will get me uh, one card plus a Seek, and then one card plus a Seek, one card plus a Seek, and then two cards. So I'll get five cards. And that should oftentimes allow me to effectively, like, just summon Exodia. Let's draw that back out. Give me some more claws, game? No? Oh, Seek will do. Seek to find Electrodynamics, and then I'm just going to play it. Molten Egg, when I'm going to attack out to your deck, upgrade it, as well as pre-upgraded Fusion, but that's a stack, which is actually a collector's bonus for us. Another Smith on another Seek, thank you. All right. Should be able to perfect the boss. Hmm. Just gonna defend transmutation here. Metamorphosis, bunch of free attacks in the deck. Yikes, many of those were already free. Oh, you can't take out my Seeks. They're the best cards in my deck. And also there's so many of them. That is to say so many rare cards in my deck. So why are you targeting those ones in particular? Hologram out of Discovery and see what he can get us. Ball Lightning, I guess. So we went for the Ball Lightning there just to set up for the uh, inevitable 
uh, the, you know, the inevitable. The, the. One sec, one sec. Kill you. Gaining an energy back as well. Seek. Now, all of the zero cards in my draw pile are coming back. So, I actually want to seek out all of the zeros that I just created. Let's take Seek as one of them. I guess I'll take the other Seek as the second. So, I'm looking for both these Sunders. Hmm. Probably not Trip. I guess I will take Overclock. Okay, Overclock first. Trip. Claw. Leap just to get it out of hand. Sunder, Sunder. All for one pulls them all back. I right, trip, trip. Claw, Sunder, Sunder, Sunder. Claw, Claw. Overclock. Overclock. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that we get to do on turns like this, you know? Great. That could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse. Just got to put in my hand. Sure. All for one. Sounds like the right pickup to me. Got him. That's a perfect fight for us, as well as a Meteor Strike. It's got to be Meteor Strike, right? Yeah, it's got to be Meteor Strike. Snekawai? I... No, I have so many zeros. I have like nothing but threes and zeros. I don't really have anything in between. Uh, transform three cards and upgrade them will actually give me a bunch more cards to the deck as well. In particular, it will give me upgraded cards. Sure, we'll take Astrolabe. So anything that we already have a full collector's bonus on that we don't want the extra cards. I really wish I could order these. I don't really need these extra chills. So I could transform two of them because I have three chills in my opening hand. Right? Yeah, three pre-upgraded chills and then I have these. The problem is I actually have like really bad cards in here as well. Like maybe I could go for my worst genetic algorithms. I have a seven, a seven. I've got these reprograms, but that could just be another collector's bonus for us later, right? So. Yeah, I'm going to go for one of the sevens in the genetic algorithms and I'm going to go for two of the... Unupgraded chills. We got Rip and Tear, Hello World. Hello World is innate at least, so we now have something to do with our opening hand. And the opening hand is just going to generate a bunch of extra cards for us every single turn, basically. So, Hello World, Hello World, Hello World. Defend ridiculously. And the next turn, we get three starter cards. Starter cards, three basic cards into our hand. completely free. I'll just pop out these apparitions while I wait for the electrodynamics for this fight. Okay. Let's see what we got for us overclock. Oh, seek into a seek. This seek will get us the other seek and another electrodynamics. Electrodynamics. And this seek will get us another electrodynamics as well as enlightenment. Then I can just end the turn next turn and collect my win. Okay. Just making sure none of the the no, none of the stuff in my hand could have gotten like a hand of greed or anything like that. Ooh. We upgraded defrags though. No, I've got a shop in two spaces time that I actually intend to go to, and I've got a shop after that, so I'm not going to be taking the red mask there. I do like it though. I do like the red mask, but I don't like it in this build because there's no way the enemy is going to deal damage to me on turn one, so why would I need it? Only if I'm going to apply weakness to the enemy on turn one, but my whole turn one is already accounted for.
charge battery here. So little way of dealing damage. Okay. Rebound a Sunder back to the top of my deck. Have the energy to play it as well. So I can do that and then Sunder you as well. Try out the final Sunder and then you know what? I'm going to seek for attacks I can play. Should make this next turn easy on us. All right, blessing of the forge, as well as charge battery, ball lightning, and doom and gloom. Don't even think we have any doom and gloom in the deck. We have no charge battery either. Ball lightning, I think we have one, right? No, we have none. Okay, I'm taking ball lightning. I just want the damage. Ugh, that's Enlightenment. Enlightenment is a collector's bonus for us. Fine. Defrag, Enlightenment, and Sunder. It's three collector's bonuses finishes there. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. I also actually want that 999 gold and two normality. It'll cause a lot of problems for us, but it makes the next shop actually viable. Upgrade all cards you can only heal is a little bit of a meme here, I think. I'm actually going for the money. That's also a huge amount of max HP we just picked up there. Um, final thing is the Seek. Obviously, if I ever get normality in a hand, like I'm going to be really, really sad about it. But it gets me my Curses bonus. It also got me a Collector's bonus on normalities. It's actually doing a hell of a lot. Okay. Apparition chill, beam cell, go for the ice, turbo, seek out, seek and seek, then seek out, uh, meteor strike, meteor strike, and then seek out meteor strike and enlightenment. Beautiful. Vajra, love it. Uh, Claw, we already have the collector's bonus. Beam Cell, I don't think we do, though. Beam Cell, we don't have the collector's bonus because we don't have any of them. Really thought we had. Uh, you know what? Upgrade hands. No, I want the draw there instead. 50% discount on all products. There is actually another shop after this. So stack, 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 stack. Where are you? Stack. I do have the collector's bonus on stack already. Scrape. Rip and tear. I don't think I have the collector's bonus on. Rip and tear. I don't. Okay, we'll take you. Do I want to put an attack in my opening hand? My opening hand is actually only nine large, I think, at this point. Three. Yeah, it's nine and eight cards, so I could just pop an attack in that opening hand. The problem is, in that opening hand, I only have three energy, so the attack can't be like a Meteor Strike or anything like that. I probably actually don't care about the Bottle Flame. Static Discharge. Do I have any of those in the deck? No, I don't. Recursion. Let's check for Recursion. I don't have Recursion. All right, cool. Recursion. Let's check for recursion. Don't have recursion. Cool. Uh, should I take scrape? I mean, I think we... Yeah, we do have the collector's bonus on scape already. I'm going to take those two for the possibility of uh, completing collector's bonuses on them. If I ancient T set, I'll actually enter the boss fight with enough... Uh, with enough energy to play a meteor strike on turn one. I think I need every relic I can get here. So you know what? I will actually do it. If nothing else, it puts one in the discard pile for me to come back to at any point. Pocket watch whenever you play three cards in a single turn. Three or fewer cards in a single turn. Draw three cards at the start of the next turn. Got him. 
Now Blizzard. There's a normality. This is really bad. How much can we do with only three here? I think it's defrag, charge, leap. Wait. That's another reason to try and pad out the deck as much as I can, just to get away from those normalities, ideally. Okay. Beam cell, trip. Let's hologram back the trip again. And sweeping beam. So I'll seek out Seek and Electrodynamics and then seek out a Turbo. Hang on. Where are they? Turbo Electrodynamics. None of that works. It's all just set up for this turn, eh? And then upgrade the genetic algorithm and finish the fight. Beautiful. Glacier Barrage has actually collected his bonus for us. Alright. No, we don't have a single barrage in the deck yet. That's it's a really powerful card for us at least though. I'd love to get a collector's bonus on it. Because we always have it set up very effectively here on turn one. What a good turn for a big barrage. Unfortunately, Nunchaku triggered at the very end there as I was hitting E. So I missed out on it. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to rebound, I guess. Pop an enlightenment back atop the deck. I could just hit E until this fight is over at this point. You actually did give me a hand of greed, but it was the final one. Oh, that sucks. Fine. Boom. Collector's bonus. Oftentimes, I will miss out on a perfect just because I didn't have enough defense on turn one and then everything else goes my way, but uh, this deck is intent on doing the opposite. You just have to appreciate that. You gotta give it credit. I'm gonna seek out a Meteor Strike and then another Normality. And I'm gonna Turbo. I'm gonna play one Meteor Strike. Most impactful thing I can do that turn. Oh my god, stack. Uh-oh. Apparition, trip, and full lightning, I think. Thanks to those apparitions, we can't afford to have all these normalities in here, but it is very much exclusively due to those. Wait. Oh my god. I was so certain I had the kill there that I just stopped. That's my bad. Oh, Mamori negate the next few curses you obtain. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just an extra relic for me. I don't have the ability to pick up that many curses. Overclock is collector's bonus. Fear potion is actually super useful, possibly. Start each combat with a skill in hand? That doesn't work. Trip, is that a collector's bonus for us at this point? Trip, 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 trip. No, we don't have it, so it is. Hello World is also a collector's bonus. We'll take that. Take that. Rebound might be. Rebound. We don't even, in fact, have it. 
Let's definitely take all of these. I'm also going to, sure, put a skill on my opening hand. Uh, enlightenment. And yeah, if it works, it'll make it cost less. Let's take rebound, that, that, that. Just in case I happen to get any more of any of those later. Should probably drop the strength potion for a focus potion. All right. So we did get enlightenment. Good. So I have orange pellets. Whenever you play a power and attack and skill in the same turn, remove all your debuffs. That said, I don't really have debuffs in this deck at this point, I don't think. Okay. Just trying to play some extra cards out of hand here. So I can rebound and then barrage for a ridiculous amount. Pull it back out and do it again. Couldn't have just a little more draw in this deck. Oh my god. And the Meteor Strikes just don't stop coming. Toxic Egg, whenever you get a skill card to your deck, upgraded. Rebound is actually a collector's bonus for us there at the very end. Upgrade a card in my deck? Yeah, probably should. Wait, which of the Enlightenments is the one in my opening hand? There we are. Upgrading that means that any time I pull back the the same Meteor Strike, it'll be zero cost. Hello. 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 And I gotta make sure that my Meteor Strike is at the absolute end. Yeah, see, that hologram brings back another Meteor Strike. Which does quite well. I actually might not even want a Cold Snap here. I mean... Fine. You're one sweeping beam away from death, friends. <sighs> Still gonna rely on that sweeping beam, in fact. Just don't wanna have to waste any actions here if I can avoid it. Definitely apparition, apparition, and barrage. This will also draw us three extra cards at the start of this turn. We're gonna overfill our hand. Magnetism? Definitely don't need that, though. Do I have any way to draw? I don't necessarily. I mean, if I get Hello World and Magnetism out there, I actually have a full hand every single turn. Fine. I have enough energy to cast them all. May as well have them. Maybe one of the colorless cards will be an Apotheosis. One of these days. You assume it has to happen. All right, there's the sweeping beam, thankfully. I've known it was coming this whole time, but I'll admit I was holding my breath by this point. Let's get another Meteor Strike out of there. Sweet. So I'm very much hoping for apparitions this turn. Apparition's all lethal, but this isn't already looking like lethal, unfortunately. Okay. 
Meteor Strike, and then I hologram back the one cost Meteor Strike. I'll rebound that to the top of the deck. Barrage and overclock into it. Use it again. And there's the Apparition. We're all good. Use Electrodynamics and then Compile Driver for the double draw. Get another one out. Love it. Got pass some normality on the final one as well. Ooh. Great hand right there. Great hand. And it's only fair to finish it off with a claw. 51 minutes and 20 seconds, so we're not really going to get a score. Bonus of speed. 17.55, though. 18 collector's bonuses. Two perfects. We could have got 100 more if we happened to perfect the first boss. Overkill, combo, curses, well-fed. Yep. Pretty much all of the rest of those, as I expected. Let's have a look at the leaderboard at the moment. I'm tied for first. Ooh, hell yes. Actually feeling pretty good about that. That said, uh, that was a long run, and I did complete it relatively early on in the daily challenge sphere, so I wouldn't be entirely surprised to see people who took a lot more time uh, come out a little bit higher than me there. For the moment, though, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.